Welcome back to Road 96. So, um, we're gonna go into episode 3. Now, here along the bottom, see, we have the timeline. So, we started back in. I guess the timeline, timeline starts on uh, Saturday, June 1st, 1996. And then I don't remember what date exactly the first person was that we went through. But then we had the second person here, which we just got done last time. So each character is going to be a certain point along this timeline. And on election day, possibly they'll all come together in some way. I mean, we can't play all of them at the same time though, so I don't know how that's going to work. But, well, I guess we could to do it, right? But Alright, well, I have no idea what we're in store for, for uh, episode 3. So, let's just get into this. Hello, Sonia Sanchez here. Welcome to the Sonia Show. The election is coming up. And this past weekend, I had the opportunity to attend a rally for Tyrak, which was open to all his supporters. What an amazing and wholesome event it was, with non-alcoholic refreshments and entertainment for the whole family. Thank you, Mr. President, for such a wonderful event. Our nation is blessed to have you at the helm. And here's to hoping for at least 10 more years with you. Well, you may have heard the rumors that a teen fled our country using abandoned tunnels running under the wall. The story is false. I was told this by no other than our great leader himself. No tunnels like this exist, said Tyrak. He even joked that if they did, he'd use them to avoid the traffic jams at the border. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Now let's take a moment to look at the latest <coughs> candidate polls. Looks like Tyrak is still the preferred candidate. In a nutshell, voting for Flores equals voting for violence. Don't vote for violence. Vote for Tyrak. As you know, the Sonia Show is very concerned about our youth who continue to mysteriously disappear. Let's view today's missing teen report. Okay, guys. Remember, if you have any information, please call the Sonia Hotline. Okay, guys, here we go. So last time I didn't really know what would happen when I clicked on one of these. I thought it would just bring up more info we count on your support. So now that we know that this is who we're going to play as, let's see here, so... Take a good hard look. 21 days... 2,040 miles from the border. The hotline is available 24 hours, 7 days a week. Let's bring these teens back home. Missing only 6 days. How many miles on the border? We count on your support. Well, let's do the one that's so that's only been missing six days. And that has been the Sonya show. Okay, we're not too far off the route from the from the first one. Okay, I'm really looking forward to seeing Stan and Mitch again. <laughs> Those two are the best. I know they're criminals, but you know. It's Zoe. Hold on. 
Zoe, although technically we don't know her yet. Hey, hey, over here. Help me. God, she's handcuffed to the van. Uh don't let them see you. Who? The cops. They transferred me out of you know where. Oh, what? The cops did this to you? My dad must have found out where I was. Uh. Get get the van keys from the cops. But you'll need to to distract them somehow. Then come back here. Oh, of course I'll do it. Thank you. Man, I can siphon gas. <laughs> okay. What the heck? Why are the? What is wrong with these cops? State and service. Know how many times I've called for a tow this year? I don't. Guess how many times? Fine. Three times. Uh. Nope. Four times. Can you believe it? Okay, I don't really want to just steal the key. What do you want, kid? Uh. Can I like buy the matches and set a fire? <laughs> um. What's with the cop? Their van broke down, I think. A kid like you shouldn't stick around here. Know that? Mm hmm. I most definitely am not. These protesters. <coughs> Wish there was some way we could just ship them out. Really? Okay, what what is this play? Got some cool tapes here. <coughs> um, this place is kind of uh, falling apart. You know. Oh, what's this? Oh. Oh, that's a John. Okay, I'm not gonna buy the matches. If I just. I could vandalize that. Hold on, I just wanna take a look around here first. See what's up. Okay, tie back van. Yeah. Okay. Pipes, nice. A car that we can't steal. Although maybe we can if we. Yeah. Generator. AC units. Okay. I don't want to steal the keys right from one of the noses. Is that the only way to distract them? Can I like throw a rock or something? Oh, what's... Oh! Hold on! Ah... Uh, oh... Okay, that's a... Like a power junction box or something. Hmm... Could we distract them? By going in here? Aha! Yes! What the? What's going on? Hello? Does anyone copy? Where'd that kid get to? That kid did this. He can't be far. I'll check behind the station. Come on, Zoe. Crap. Keys. OK. 
okay, okay. We got this. He, you got the keys. The keys for the handcuffs. They should come, come on. Get yeah. ready to run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Quick. Oh no. Here's where I can see him. Oh god. Well, that didn't work out. <laughs> I I didn't mean for this to happen. You got to believe me. Yeah. I know. No, you didn't. This country is so messed up. I'll go back to my father. What about me? Uh, to jail, and possibly... I'll, I'll get my dad to save you. I'll say... I don't know what I'll say. Look, maybe... Maybe you should rest. You'll feel better. Just... Just try to get some sleep. And when you wake up, I'll know what to do. Okay? Alright. <gasps> you hear that? See you in help! <laughs> oh, jeez. Drive by. They're going, but they'll be back, and with friends. It's John. Lucky we intercepted their comms. Check the van. The girl must be inside. Please, don't hurt us. Got us a second kid in here. The less you know, the better. But, Zoe, you should come <coughs> with us. Wait, how do you know my name? Did my father send you? <laughs> Definitely not. We'll explain later, but right now, you and the kid have to split up. Mm. You... You... You risk your life for me. Yeah... Um... Well... Yeah... Maybe. Yeah, you would've. Zoe, we have to go! I, uh, I hope I get to see you again. I do too. Okay, well that happened. I wonder, we could have probably driven the van too, right? Wow, we are exhausted. This is the pipeline. Did you kill the radio stand? <laughs> That's totally not a reference at all. I feel like I probably shouldn't sprint because it's probably gonna sap my energy faster. The um The way they do pipelines They don't even bury them. At least we bury our pipes, they just like do above ground kinda of thing. Uh Oh. Looks like um old race car. Oh nice, nice. What's this one? Okay, nice. Okay, we all know the plan, right? Yes. 
Totally. Let's do this. Uh, guys, is it me? Or is that kid over there listening to us? <laughs> um, definitely not. Let's see here, kid. Definitely not. Just, uh... Get lost, kid. What are you up to, guys? Planning a political uprising? Wait a minute. I Get recognize. Lost, hmm. Get lost, kid. Okay, okay. Hey, Sonia. It's almost time. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I insulted him one time too many. Look, find someone to film this, and now you know how important this is to it. Where am I gonna find a loser? To... Hey, you there? Uh, yeah. It's your lucky day. Sonia has a job for you. Uh, guess I could use the money. Um, do I know how to use one of these fancy cameras? Probably not. Well, look at this thing. It's uh, advanced. This is just a little puff piece on the pump, Cuddle Muffin. Nothing to it. We have a second. You want to like talk to me? I get my take on something important. Uh, I do have a question. How do the post testers? I mean, that's understandable, honestly. Well, yeah. Thanks, honey bunny. Okay, let's go. We'll start with the intro. Oh, this is good with the billboard behind me. How do I look? Sonia here, reporting live from the site of Tetria's newest oil pub, where the Minister of Oil is moments away from a speech. The new pump, a gift from President Tyrak, will soon bring riches to our already rich nation. And cut! Oh my god, we effing destroyed them. Nice! I could be a news camera operator. Yeah. Lucky stir. Okay. I was expecting money. It's a lucky charm. It helped me. Maybe it'll help you too. Okay. Well. Okay, sweetums. Now we film the minister. We'll get the crowd to cheer when he talks about President Tyrant. And boo when he talks about Senator Florence. Got Wait, it? I have to talk? Oh. We need the money. Yeah. That's what I like to hear, Chunky Wonky. Okay, he's approaching the podium. Film him. Hello, good citizens. We're here to celebrate the opening of this pump. Don't forget to take some close-ups. And what a beautiful and strong pump it is. Like our nation. Like our president. Speaking of our president, let us cheer him to show our appreciation. Nice wow. one, Dumplin. Loris. Loris believes we should abandon fossil fuels and take away your jobs. What do you, the hardworking people hmm. of Petria, think of Lupe Flores? Well. Good, cutie pie. Real good. Of a brigade uprising. But am I worried? No. I've even let my teen daughter embark on a road trip. President Tyrak will keep our nation safe. Praise President Tyrak! Ooh, nice. With that said, 
Who you vote? Tyrak is a liar. Teens are being imprisoned every day. Tyrak is a fascist dictator. Vote for Flores. And save our country. Stop them oh. now. I'm here, Sonya. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, no, we definitely don't do stories like that. Hey. Well, it's about time to drive off in my limo. Like all good journalists do when they finish a story. Look, to sum it up, your intro wasn't half bad. In fact, you did a good job the whole way. Here, buy yourself a new... everything. New everything. Whoa! Good chunk. Thanks. Well, I do believe it's time to go, sweet cakes. Adam! Let's roll! Hmm. See... I feel bad for doing the whole cheering and booing thing, but at the same time, like, like this, this kid needs the money to get out of the country and have a possible chance to make an even bigger impact than than something like this would. So it's kind of. I don't know, it's one of those things, you know. Yeah. I guess that brings the question, like... Like... What kind of things could, could you do? For money, if that money will help you make a, or if not even necessarily money, but if whatever the result is, will help you make a good difference later on. Well, I mean, that's over and done with, I guess. Uh, okay, just want to take a quick look around here. I know we're really tired, but... Uh, let's hitchhike, I guess. Actually, no. I want to take the bus. Let's take the bus. I bet you if we call a taxi, we're gonna get that joke. Right? We've never taken a bus before. That's a bus? Just a van? Okay. Well, that works, I guess. Two to central. Come in. Uh, wait a minute. I'm not a bad person. That's enough. What are you looking at, Peach Fuzz? Nothing. Sorry. That's what I thought. I'm not really in the mood for a chat. But fine. Go ahead. They don't bother me, unless it gets violent. Okay, okay. 
I like her. Central, come in. Unit two to central. Hey. Yeah. You gotta help me. Oh. She's taking me to the pits. Yeah. What are the pits? Where have you been living? The Iron Pits. Where have they sent teens caught trying to flee the country? Iron Pits. Turn around. And you, stay out of this. Up to the pits. Why did you arrest them? Kid, what did I say? Mind your own business. They're gonna send me to the pits to mine. I'll never see my family again. Never see his. Of course he'll see his family. And remind me why I'm telling you this. Then why the missing teen posters? That's just brigade misinformation, is all. Oh, you don't really believe that, do you? Huh? Believe what? That the teen work camp doesn't exist. Ma'am, now's not the time for a discussion. I'm just doing my job. Well... Mm. We should. You don't seem like a bad person, officer. Just confused. Yes, confused? yeah, she's ha. right. You liberals crack me up. Look, this is official police business. My car broke down, okay? Wait, it broke down again? Oh, gosh. But I'm not really supposed to know that. Uh, okay, I'm gonna... Look, I've heard the stories too. But they're false. Fake news. Fake news? <laughs> I'm a mother. I'd never send a kid to a place like that. Not intentionally, I know. But you are. What did you arrest this kid for? Look, I'm not gonna... He was trying to cross the border, okay? Then he's gonna end up, you know where. Whether you think they exist or not. That's enough, sir. Now, both of you, please turn around. I mean, it's possible like she could... I mean, I feel like she is probably just in a bit of denial. Um... You know what, let's... Stand up for her here. Disappointed, kid. With that backpack, I thought you'd feel differently. You're starting to really irritate me, sir. Know that? Unit 2 to Central. Come in. Unit 2 to Central. Where are they? Okay. Guys, sorry, I just got a bit out of hand. Citizens should be able to arrest cops. You know that? To keep them honest. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Can we pretend you, you never arrested me? Oh, uh... I mean, maybe? Quiet back there! Actually, it's a good idea. Does anyone know you've arrested him? No, but... Now that's enough! From everyone! Oh, no one knows, okay. Oh yeah, that changes things a little. Uh... Yeah, let him go. Please, officer. Just get off at the next stop. That's all you have to do. I'm not gonna say it again. Okay. Uh. Um. How is this guy still sleeping? Mm. Okay. Unit two to central. Come in. Unit 2 to Central! Oh, oh, okay, we caught us on such a bad spot here. What's going on here? He woke me up! Ah! Whoa. Whoa, whoa! Take it easy! Oh. Oh. You've crossed the line! 
Wait, what? Unit 2, this is Central. Everything okay? Over? You can still do the right thing. Don't tell them about the kid. Unit 2, are you there? Uh, uh... Unit 2 here. I just wanted to tell you I had some car trouble. I'm on the bus now. Over. Whew, wow, okay. I could have gone really badly. Unit 2, I... I need a car to pick me up. <laughs> it's gonna uh. be alright, okay? I think I need to get out of this. Man, yeah, if that ended up in her like, dying or something, I would have felt so bad because, well, of her son, Alex. But like at the same time, we, we technically don't know she has a son, right? So, like if us, who we are right now, knew she had a kid then that would lean us like fully in the direction of supporting her possibly just to get her out of that situation right so but we didn't all right so what is going on now why well, do I have a feeling we're gonna run across John yeah John seems to like the woods. Oh! Oh, 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 hey! Um. Oh my god. Ah, uh, this guy. Like, where the heck did he go? I didn't even hear the trunk close. What is up with his- why is he whistling so... Loud... I'm not gonna walk in front of the light. I know enough to not do that. Oh my... Jeez. Uh... Uh, uh, take my money. I don't want your money, Brigade. Brigade? I'm the one doing the talking. Understand? Okay. I knew you'd come back to your van. <laughs> Sounds like a kid in there. Uh, oh no. I think it's a guy. No, but you come here sometimes. You and your brigade friends. What did I say? Now, get in your filthy van Whoa. and find me a light. Ma I feel like having a smoke. Oh, gosh, okay, okay. Um... 
Oh, okay. Money, I guess. That's Did you rough. find a light yet? Well, uh, that was rotting food. Oh well, I guess. <laughs> uh. Found those easily, didn't you? I knew that was your van. What? They're right there in the open. Now we're gonna play a little game. It's called Hot and Cold. I used to play it with my daughter. Tick tock. The game has started. Call. Uh. Call. You're burning up. You're burning up. No. Oh. There wasn't That's anyone in there. That's a good brigade. Now, I have a surprise for you. You like surprises, right? Grab the can. No. Remember. Remember the camera. Remember the camera room, the Happy Taxi place. That's is that the Happy Mother's Day card from there? No. Did he? Did he kill some whoever worked there? Who seems to be a mom? No. No, no. I can't remember what he was saying now. Uh, Lola. Lola. Don't look at that. It's private. Or maybe that's it. But I mean, maybe he's married, and that's his. No, I don't know. Good. Now. Put gas on everything in the van. Everything. We're gonna watch it burn. That's the surprise. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Jared. Calm down. Calm down. Just chill out. No? Uh Please just let me go. I can't. You don't know what your surprise is. I yet. have a good guess. The surprise is we're gonna burn the van with you in it. I was right. And you deserve a treat. Maybe you aren't, but why should I risk it? Well, why should you risk killing someone for no reason? Uh. Oh, I've done worse. Much worse. Have a dot. Yep, no problem there. And remember, tell them. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Bye, bye.
uh, I do feel bad for Jared about what happened to his daughter. But I also... I, I, I also feel like... Like, like he can't be... Take, like, because such a thing happened to him, it's terrible, but he can't be taken that out by just going around and killing people. I'm not gonna wait for a bus here, that's crazy. Uh... Leave and walk along the road, yeah. Pass out. What do we have here? Looks like one of the kids on the posters. Let's take him in. Wait, is that her again? You've been arrested. No one said it would be easy to reach the border let alone cross it. But for one journey that ends, others are only beginning. Oh no. Oh no. What? Wow, we got arrested. I mean, and Jared, that thing with Jared. Yeah. When when Jared starts yelling, man, you can feel his yell, like the volume of it. <laughs> All right. Well, that's that's unfortunate that we. Rather rested, but hey, let's look at it this way. If political change is actually brought about, then hey, this this we we could be released. This person could be released, right? What do we have down here? We have so hope. I'm hoping to unlock the hacking thing. Wait. Alex told you how to hack. Oh. Okay, we really need to get in touch with Alex again. <laughs> so he can teach us to hack. Yeah, okay. Well, maybe next time we'll learn how to hack. Alright. Um, yeah, if we ever cross paths with Alex again. Which I'm assuming we will. As long as we don't get arrested too fast. Okay, thank you. For watching and I'll see you next time in episode 4